quest so gallantly streaming. Singing the national anthem at noon is a tradition at Mission Barbecue restaurants. But on this, the 80th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor, it takes on added significance, especially for World War II veterans. What makes this country so great are our heroes. This is the grand opening of the Mission Barbecue in Lancaster County. Now let's get out of the cold and let's go eat. The first Mission Barbecue opened on the 10th anniversary of 9-11, another attack on America that changed the world. I have an order for Miss Rachel. We'd like to believe every day is Veterans Day at Mission Barbecue from that standpoint of us being able to welcome them in, wrap our arms around them, and humbly thank them for their service. These World War II veterans are among the dwindling number of survivors. Half of my buddies aren't here anymore. We first met Staff Sergeant Warren Snyder on Veterans Day 2019. He flew 25 combat missions over Europe. Did you decide to enlist after oh, yeah, Pearl Harbor? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Richard DeVerter served with the Army's 8th Armored Division in Europe, nicknamed the Thundering Herd. I was over in Europe before it was 19. The opening, which drew long lines, pays tribute to all veterans and first responders. Thank you for your service. Those people don't know women serve. And today, I just want to be here to re represent them that people need to honor our women veterans. The vets say this thank you leaves them feeling full of pride as much as barbecue. It really excites me. I really appreciate this, what they care for you. In Lancaster County, Barbara Barr, WGAL News 8.